Welcome to FNAF News. I'm your host, the Team Team Up, and today we're going to be talking about the FNAF movie, the books, and more. Starting off with the movie news, we actually have some evidence that popular YouTuber Markiplier will be in the FNAF movie. In a recent interview with Variety, Markiplier, in reference to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, said, Everyone wants to know. There was a lot of confusion. Yeah, I can't say anything particular about that. There was a lot of scheduling conflict, and I can't say anything. So basically, they asked Markiplier, are you in the FNAF movie? And he said, I'm not allowed to comment on that. He doesn't outright confirm anything, but the fact that he doesn't, you know, just say no, you know, makes it seem like he is in the movie. Because I feel like if you weren't in a movie and somebody asked, are you in this movie? You just say no. You know, saying I'm not allowed to comment on that makes it seem like he's under some type of NDA. He's not allowed to say if he's in the movie or not, which makes total sense. But also this is Markiplier. He could just be trolling. He might not be in the movie and he's just saying that, you know, I can't comment on that. Just to, you know, troll people. Make them think that he is in the movie while he won't be. Although this is something really big. If it were something that he's not in, I don't think he would say that. I feel like he would just say no. I do want to point out, he says there was a lot of scheduling conflict. So this makes me think that maybe he was originally going to be in the movie, but you know, because of schedules, he can't be, you know, he doesn't have time to. Although if that was the case, I feel like he still wouldn't say I'm not allowed to comment on that. And he would just say, no, I couldn't. There was scheduling conflict. So maybe he's not going to be in the first movie, but he'll have like a cameo in the second movie or something like that. Because it makes sense, there's scheduling conflict, I can't be in the movie, but I'm still under a contract, so I'm not allowed to say that I'm not going to be in this movie, I'll be in the second one. So I think that could make a lot of sense, if he's not going to be in the first one, maybe he'll be in the second or third one, some type of cameo. And honestly, I think I would be happier with that. Because although it would be really cool to have Markiplier in the FNAF movie, you know, big FNAF YouTuber, everybody knows him, everybody loves his FNAF videos, I don't think he needs to be in it. You know, he does have acting experience. He's been in In Space with Markiplier, stuff like that. He's gonna be making his own movie soon, but that doesn't mean that he would really fit in well with the movie. I could understand, like, if they have a role that he actually fits well in, and it's not just, hey, I'm Markiplier in the FNAF movie, isn't that cool? Then that could make sense. But I think it would fit better to have him in the second movie, because I feel like that one, it doesn't matter as much as the first movie, so they can kind of do a little bit more crazy things. Again, this does not confirm anything. He clearly does not say yes, and he says there was scheduling conflict, so I'm not sure if he will or not be. I think it's more likely he'll be in a sequel and not in this first movie if he is in one. Although he did have this Instagram story where he said, I don't know how, I don't know why, but my hair got straightened. This is not for my movie. This just happened suddenly and there was nothing I could do to stop it. Now he does say this is not for my movie, which would make you think that's not for his movie. Although he could be being sarcastic. In that case, it would be for his movie and not for the FNAF movie. Although if he is being serious and it's not for his movie, maybe it could be for the FNAF movie. He's straightening his hair, getting into some nice clothes. Is he filming something? Probably. It would be crazy timing for that news to come out of Markiplier saying, hey, I'm not allowed to comment on if I'm in the FNAF movie. And then him like soon after making an Instagram post saying, hey, my hair is straightened, I'm in these nice clothes, and it's not for my movie. Although if this is, you know, for something other Markiplier related and not for the FNAF movie, it doesn't mean he's not in the movie, I guess. He could be in it. Although, like I said before, with the scheduling issues, I'm not sure. I think it is very possible, though, that if he's not in this movie, he could be in some type of sequel. Other movie news is actor Tata Young. sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly, is being cast in the FNAF movie as Dr. Lillian. We don't know who exactly this is, but we do know there's gonna be a character in the FNAF movie named Dr. Lillian. Is it gonna be an actual doctor? Are they gonna be like a college professor? Who knows? I guess it would make more sense for them to be an actual doctor but I'm not sure why they would need a doctor in the FNAF movie. I mean, I guess FNAF does have a lot of murder. It has a lot of injury. You know, that news video I made before, there's a leaked scene. That could require some type of doctor, I suppose. Or, you know, Michael's probably gonna witness murders or something like that. The parents of the dead kids might be something you know, psychologically, they need to go to a therapist or something like that. That could make sense as well. Yeah, not exactly sure, but we do know there's gonna be a character named Dr. Lillian in the FNAF movie. The next bit of movie news is a little bit of a spoiler, so if you're trying to avoid absolutely everything about the movie, you can skip to this time. I'll give you three seconds, so three, two, 
won. And the news is that there has been a casting call from Central Casting in Louisiana, now casting minor blonde female for new film Bad Cupcake, which is the production name of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. It says here we are looking for minors, ages 9 to 11, blonde females to portray the young version of Vanessa in this film. So yes, in the FNAF movie, at some point, we're going to be seeing a young version of Vanessa. That image at the bottom there isn't the actual actor, it's just a reference so people know kind of what they're looking for, because you know, this is that looking for casting. This isn't a cast announcement. So why exactly are we going to be seeing a young version of Vanessa in the movie? Well, I did hear a theory, and I think it sounds pretty good, which is basically that Vanessa was a kid at some type of birthday or something along those lines at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place, and then William Afton came up, killed some of her friends, and basically when she grew up to be an adult, she decided to become a police officer and make it her main goal to catch this person and then murder her friends. See, I think this could totally make sense because we know that Vanessa in the movie is going to be a police officer. We're gonna see her as a younger person. And you know, the murders in FNAF occur way before FNAF 1. I think in the games, it's supposed to be around 1985, roughly. So it could totally make sense. That's, uh, you know, I assume that's like 10 years younger that she is and the murders happened like 10 years before the movie takes place. So that makes sense. Of course, that is just a theory, a film theory. So we don't know if that's actually gonna be happening, but something along those lines might happen. But we do know for sure that there is going to be a young Vanessa at some point in the movie. Next up is some more news on the Five Nights at Freddy's cookbook. We have had another page revealed. So here it is. It is the Freddy Fazbear's Pepperoni Express. Of course, in the FNAF cookbook, there is going to be a pizza recipe. You know, the whole thing is that it's a pizza place, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. So a FNAF pizza recipe. Of course, that's gonna happen, and I think that's pretty cool, actually. We finally get to see what FNAF pizza tastes like. Not only is it FNAF pizza, but it's FNAF security breach pizza. Because if you look at the ingredients there, it actually says Pizza Plex dough and Plex pizza sauce in the ingredients. So I assume earlier in the cookbook, we're going to learn how to make the Pizza Plex dough and the Plex pizza sauce. I don't know what Plex pizza means. You know, like the Pizza Plex is the name of the mall. Plex pizza, I don't know what that is. But yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Pizza. Sounds awesome, very curious to see what it tastes like. But yeah, some Freddy Fazbear's Pepperoni Express Pizza sounds very cool. And the last bit of news here is on the Five Nights at Freddy's Tales from the Pizza Plex book number seven, Tiger Rock, the cover has been changed slightly. It's not a very big change. The lighting was changed a little bit. It's a bit brighter. And then also at the bottom there, it gives credit to another one of the writers. But yeah, there's not too much to say about it. Not much has changed, but still a very cool cover. I do like that artwork. I like this character. I do also want to remind you guys that the new wave of U2's figures is out for only one more day by the time I post this video. So if you like any of these characters, you're interested in the figures, you should probably get them quickly. But that's all the news we have today. If you want to subscribe, you can click the button top of my head. If you want to watch one of my last news videos, you can click that button over there. And if you want to see some other video I made, you can click that button over there. And I'll see you when we get some more news on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie.